While I'm still on Diddy, I, I know y'all heard the news that Diddy Moms is in the hospital. They said she was having chest pains or whatever. I would think that <sighs> judging from that news and, you know, prayers to his moms, his moms ain't got nothing to do with the Cassie video or anything like that, you know. So um, I would think that, you know, if it's stress related, that the reality is probably starting to kick in. And, and if it's not stress related, you know, whatever health problems she's having, you know, I'll press, I'll prayers go out to her. But um, I think that there's a reality setting in amongst the, the the Combs family, because ironically, not that the two have anything to do with each other, but at the same time, you know, um, Janice Combs going to the hospital for chest pains, Misa is posting um, I don't want to say cryptic, uh, cryptic mess encrypted messages or cryptic messages because her thoughts are clear, but I think that with these and with the indictment coming down. Her latest post was kind of dispelling the fact that she had a kid with Puff at it while she was underage. And it's kind of like, well, why are you doing that? Like, so I'm starting to feel like now if she was against Puff at one time and make the, the, the energy of this post makes me feel like um she kind of want to protect him a little bit like because the, let me read the post I feel like they 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 had a conversation. Like he might have had a family meeting and was like, yo, whoa, 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 whoa. This is what it is. This is what it is. Whoa, 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 whoa. I need your support. Da, 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 da. And uh See, these are the images that she posted. This is her when she was pregnant with Justin. That was Justin as a baby with Big and Craig Mack. This is Misa with Puff.
So, this is 1993, right? Now, this type of post right here tells me that she's putting out statements. I don't know. Well, I believe this this statement is here is to dispel the fact that uh, Puff got her pregnant when she was a minor, right? Um, but it, it's an interesting uh, post because, you know, remember just not too long ago, she was kicking his back in, right? When, you know, all this shit was happening. But now listen to the tone of this. Misa, 1993. I was pregnant. Puffy just got fired from Uptown Records. Andre Harrell said, there cannot be two kings in the castle. He was right. It comes a time. Puffy was scared. He had a child on the way and we just moved. And we just moved into a big, beautiful new home. He had me call Andre Harrell and ask for his job back several times. Andre Harrell stood on business. The same way a father would when it's time for his son to make that move. I told Puffy he could do it. He was a mastermind. He had just, he just had to do exactly what he had done doing successfully, doing successfully at Uptown Records, but just for himself now. I wasn't scared. I believed in him. Bad Boy started in our basement in Scarsdale, New York, thanks to the legendary Bert Padel. One night, we were at the Palladium, and Puff was about to give Flex the record. I could stand still. I could still picture that moment. We were at the bar patiently waiting for the record to be played. The crowd response was going to tell us everything we needed to know. Flavin' your ear played. Everyone went crazy. Puff looked at me and said, you see this shit, Mish? I just smiled. It's bad, boy. My life experience, my life story, besides every bad boy was a bad girl. Please don't come on here with any negativity. Instead, try praying for all involved. See what I'm saying? A minute ago, she was kicking his back in. Now, it's pray for this nigga, right? Please don't come on here with any negativity instead pray instead try praying for all involved you cannot erase history and our cultural impact you can't you cannot erase history and our cultural impact this is also our and she capitalized our legacy and then capitalized the word every single person whose blood sweat tears talent and business Acumen went into this movement. Were you not entertained? Were you not inspired? You see how she praising them now? She's the first one to be in support of Diddy when everybody said nobody's there to support him outside of Stevie J. Now he got me some support. By the way, I had Justin at 19 years old. I turned 20 years old seven days later. For a while, the internet had my age wrong. I say, hey, leave it. Stop believing everything you hear on the internet. Rest in peace, Craig Mack. Rest in peace, Notorious B.I.G. Rest in peace, Andre Harrell. And rest, rest in peace, Bert Padel.
Pray for all involved that she can mean the victims too. Hold on a second. 